Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, what's up? My name is VNA Strick. Thank you so much for being here. As you can see by the title, today we have a dupes video. I'm so excited. I love doing these videos and also updating them. I think I have a playlist. So if I don't, I will make one and I will put this in a dupe playlist. If you guys are interested, there's just so many more videos that I've done. Today we are going to be comparing a lot of viral uh, high end makeup compared to drugstore makeup. And I'm so excited to show you guys. So I hope that you guys enjoy this video. And if you do, please make sure to give it a big Big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel to join my squad let's get into it I'm gonna pop in here from future me guys which side do you think is drugstore and which one do you think is high-end comment down below what you guys think let me know let's get into it by the way since the last video that you guys saw me I am one year older I am 28 now Woo! So that's exciting. I am going to do half the phase drugstore, half high end with a dupe. Now a dupe could be a formula dupe or a shade dupe. So just keep that in mind. I will let you guys know. And there's also a couple that I will be trying out with you guys that could be dupes. So it'll be a fun video. And the last thing, um, when I was looking up the prices of the drugstore makeup, obviously it varies. So it could be cheaper at Walmart than Ulta. So I just kind of did like a median price for you guys because I didn't want to choose the cheapest version because maybe you might get it only at the most expensive version so anyways I hope that makes sense I chose like the median so let's just get started I think today we're gonna do the right side of the face I will give this to the drugstore side and the left side I will give it to the high end. I don't have like 100% of a full face. As you guys can see, my brows are done, but we do have a lot of products to try out. So I do have my skincare on as well as my sunscreen. And today we're gonna start out with probably the most viral and newest dupe in the market. So today we're gonna be comparing these two. So if you're not familiar, this is the e.l.f. Halo Glow Liquid Filter compared to the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter. I did end up buying the smaller size just because it is so pricey. This might be a little bit lighter than the e.l.f. one, but we are gonna be using it as primer just to see how it looks under an actual foundation. So first we're gonna go in with the e.l.f. So this one is in the shade four. And I really do like this product. So fun fact, today's the first time I'm actually gonna be trying the Charlotte Tilbury one. I am gonna be using different brushes for everything. So I actually think this product is very beautiful to wear on its own because it does give you a little bit of like a lighter to medium coverage and of course a beautiful glow. But we are gonna be using it as primer today. So. This product is really, really nice and I love it. So finally, let's try this sucker out. So obviously, like I said, this is a sample size, but the full size is $46. Um, so this one is in the shade 3 Fair. They're always sold out. So I kind of wanted to compare more of like the finish of it. So obviously the shades are not gonna match, but because it's such a sheer product, I think we'll be able to get away with it. So far, I can tell that it's actually not giving as much coverage as the e.l.f. one. This is definitely like a sheer coverage. I feel like the e.l.f. one could be light to like a light medium. So that is Charlotte Tilbury and this is e.l.f. So obviously the e.l.f. looks a little darker. Again, more coverage. It's giving a very similar glow. See? Very, very pretty. It looks very pretty. It's like a slightly metallic sheen, but it's not glittery. I feel like on camera, you can definitely tell this side's a lot darker, but in person, you can barely tell a difference. I definitely think so far, the way it looks, it's definitely a dupe. And I might have to say, I actually might prefer the e.l.f. one, really because of a little bit of that coverage. I feel like this might be even better to wear because it corrects as well as illuminates. So, but so far I definitely think these are dupes. I mean, that was the purpose of the product and I do, I get it. I think this is definitely a dupe. Okay, so moving on to foundation. This is actually something that we're gonna test out together. I was actually looking up dupes and someone made a video all about dupes of Charlotte Tilbury and um, they brought up this foundation. So this is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Foundation. This is such a beautiful foundation and I actually saw her talking about how 
the Hard Candy Camouflage Full Coverage Foundation is a pretty good dupe. So I figured we could try these out because I haven't really heard anybody talking about a dupe for this one. So again, this is the Hard Candy Glamouflage Full Coverage Foundation 16 Hour Wear. I have the shade Warm Honey and honey, let's hope it matches with the other side. So I'm going to apply this. Something that I don't love about it is that it smells like like paint thinner. <laughs> so that's not good, but I think this will actually match us pretty well. This is going to be a full coverage foundation. I see it oxidizing a little bit. So that was a quick oxidation. Hopefully my face doesn't look too crazy. It's blending out beautifully. It is covering everything up, but like I mentioned, it is oxidizing and a little bit on the orangier side, but that is what that looks like, and with the e.l.f. halo glow, it does look beautiful. So that is the drugstore side. Now let's hope this matches the other side, but I'm going to go in with the Charlotte Tilbury. I'm going to do one pump, and I will do a little bit of a wear test for you guys, of course. What I like about this foundation is that it's very thin, but it provides so much coverage, like so much coverage, and it really does last all day. So hopefully these are similar enough to where they could be like interchangeable. So far this looks very similar. Let me zoom you guys in. So this is hard candy, full coverage, doesn't look cakey. Here is the Charlotte Tilbury. So, so far it's looking really good. Very promising, if I do say so myself. I don't know if I mentioned, but Charlotte Tilbury have the shade 7 Warm. So, so far I would say they look pretty much the same. We are gonna see how it looks after we're done with our makeup and how it wears, but so far it is looking like a dupe. So let's keep on going. That is very exciting. I have not heard of this dupe before. Moving on to bronzer. I wanted to find a bronzer that everyone's obsessed with. Now I'm not sure if this is gonna be a formula dupe, but I know everyone is obsessed with the Milk Makeup Bronzer Stick, specifically in the shade Baked. I know that for lighter to medium skin tones, this is like the perfect shade. This might look more like a contour shade for me, we will see, but I did find a shade dupe and it is by e.l.f. and it is the Putty Bronzer. So first let's go ahead and apply the e.l.f. Putty Bronzer. So this one is in the shade Honey Drip. So again, we're gonna go in with different brushes, so I'm just going to apply the Putty Bronzer. Again, this shade might be a little too light for me, but I know that the shade Baked from Milk is like the perfect shade for a lot of people. So I wanted to see if I could dupe the shade. And I really do think that the formula is actually very similar. Obviously they have different packaging, but this bronzer is literally $7. So see how it gave me just like a really nice like bronzer. It's not too warm, not too cool, and it looks very beautiful. I understand why everybody does love this shade. So again, this is the shade Honey Drip, and now we're gonna put this away and use a different brush, and we're gonna do the milk one. I'm going to apply it the same way, which is just grabbing it with my brush and then applying it on the face. So far it's going on very similarly. They both have like a medium pigmentation. It's not too harsh, but you can build it up. Okay, so both are on, and I have to say, maybe the Milk one is the tiniest bit cooler, but I think the Elf one is pretty much a dupe. Like, it's definitely interchangeable. I feel like if you looked at my face without knowing that I'm wearing two bronzers, you would have no idea that I'm wearing two bronzers, and they're giving me the same finish. I think these are dupes. I think this is definitely interchangeable with the Milk one, so I will call this a dupe. So I don't have a concealer dupe really on purpose because we are going to be testing out two powders and I wanted to kind of give them an even shot. So I'm quickly going to conceal with the Too Faced Born This Way concealer and I'll be right back and we're going to compare two of my favorite powders that I've never put side by side. Alrighty guys, so moving on to powder. My favorite powder now has been the Huda Beauty Easy Bake Powder. I use the shade Pound Cake. It has a little bit of a lighter yellowish undertone, and this is just so, so good. It is $35, and I've heard that one of my old favorites is actually a dupe, which could make sense because I do love them both, but I don't know. There is something about this powder that is just so amazing, so I'm very excited to see if the Maybelline Fit Me is also 
comparable or a dupe. I do have the shade Fair Light in this one, so they both have a little bit of like a creamy yellow undertone. Huda Beauty is a little bit lighter yellow and the Maybelline is a little bit darker. Hopefully that doesn't make too much of a difference. Let's start out with the Maybelline. The thing about this is this used to be my favorite powder, but I had not used it with a powder puff. So I don't know what kind of magic this will create with a powder puff. This looks flawless. So yeah, very, very nice. We're gonna switch to the other side of the puff and do the Huda Beauty. Okay, so while I was patting the powder on the back of my hand, this is the Maybelline and this is a Huda Beauty. See how this one's just like a little bit lighter? Oh my God, it looks the same. I'm a little shook right now. I mean, it makes sense because I love both of these powders, but I never thought that they would be the same. It looks the freaking same, guys. Oh my God. As of right now, my under eyes uh, feel a little bit drier on the Huda Beauty side. So they look similar and the Maybelline one doesn't have the scent that the Huda Beauty has. And it also doesn't have as much dryness to it. So yeah, um, definitely a dupe. I mean, my freaking face looks the same. Like what? I'm quickly going to add the same bronzer to both sides just to warm up the skin a little bit. This is the Dior Face and Body Powder No Powder in the shade 6N Neutral. Again, doing the same on both sides. I just need a little bit more warmth. So moving on to blush, this is going to be a shade dupe because I don't think these are like the same finish but I found the shade dupe and again this is one of those products that I know a lot of y'all like so I'm very excited to be duping another milk makeup product again for this shade so this is the milk makeup lick and cheek stick and this is in the shade quirk this is such a beautiful shade especially for fall but I believe that the Milani cheek kiss uh, liquid blush in the shade Rose Romance looks very, very similar, at least swatched on the back of my hand. Hopefully, it will translate on the face. So I'm going to grab the same brush that I use on the drugstore side, and I'm just going to put some of this blush on the back of my hand. Obviously, this is a uh, liquid, not a cream, so it is going to be just a different formula, but I think they're going to look super, super similar because they're the exact same shade. So hopefully, like I mentioned, hopefully it translates. Okay, I messed up. I know I always apply my cream blush on top of powder, that's just the way I am, but this is a liquid blush and it did lift up a little bit of the foundation. I do think that's completely my fault, so let's just ignore that for now because I have tried these blushes before and it doesn't do that if you just work with the cream. So switching brushes, let's grab this shade from Milk and start applying it on the cheek. I believe this is gonna be more of a matte finish, so I don't know if we're gonna have an easy time looking at the shade, but I promise it made sense on the back of my hand. I'm gonna use a milk one on my nose since it's kind of hard to use two blushes on your nose. You know what, maybe I messed up. You know, I wasn't in the right lighting when I chose these, but this is Milani, this is milk, and Without my studio lights, the swatches looked very similar, but now that I'm looking at them, they're not that similar. This one's more neutral, more plummy. This one's more pinky, apricotty. You know what? I'm not gonna call it a dupe because it's not a formula dupe and I didn't find the exact match. So yeah, thanks for trying this out with me, you guys. I'm gonna quickly add some powder blush. I know what you're thinking. You don't need any more blush, but I kind of do to kind of blend my concealer and my powder blush. So I'll be right back and we can move on to eyeliner. So the next dupe is gonna be eyeliner. Um, I know that everyone has been loving this. This is a great eyeliner. This is the Benefit Cosmetics, their Real Extreme Precision Eyeliner. It is waterproof, it does have a brush tip, and I love it, but there is an oldie but a goodie that I don't hear anybody talking about, and I did swatch them, and I did compare the waterproofness, and this is so good. I used to use this all the time. I don't know why I'm not using it anymore. It's the Maybelline Hyper Easy Brush Tip Eyeliner. So this is $7, 
and this is $24, so it's obviously a really big difference. Um, this I've had for a very long time. I should probably get a new one, but it still works really, really well, which says a lot, especially about a drugstore eyeliner. So again, this also has the brush tip, and it's just very nice, smooth. I'm gonna go ahead and do a little wing, and then we can compare with the other one. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, so good, so freaking good. Now let's do the benefit again very pigmented, very long wearing, and I just love a good brush tip. Forget the fact that the wings are not even, but do they not look the same? They have the same amount of blackness, they have the same, like a little bit of a matte satin finish, they have the same longevity, they, like, they will last you the same, and they have the same application. They have the same brush tip, and it just glides right on. The Maybelline one has 0.55 milliliters, and the Benefit one has 0.35. Even though this looks huge, the Maybelline one actually has more product. So I definitely think this is a dupe, and it's a really good one. Okay, so moving on to mascara. Now, this is another one that I wanted to try with you guys. I feel like it's just more fun to try out dupes together than like me by myself in my room trying it out. So today, I'm trying to dupe a mascara that has been very, very popular for good reason. So this is the Rare Beauty. I believe this is just called like the, I don't know, but it's the only one from Rare Beauty. This is a great mascara because it is volumizing, it is lengthening, it is separating. Like this is definitely like an all-in-one mascara and it's really, really nice. Um, I found a mascara that has a very similar brush. So I think we might be able to dupe the effect. So this is the Koki Cosmetics Lash Up Euphoria Mascara. And look, the brush is extremely similar. So I wanted to just kind of test them back to back and see if this could be a possible dupe. So I'm gonna go ahead and curl my lashes and I'll be right back and we can apply both mascaras. All right, so eyelashes are curled. I like to do one layer, wait a little bit, then do a second layer. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. So I'm just gonna do one layer and then do a second one and then we'll compare. Let's go ahead and test this out. I'm so excited. Hopefully we have a dupe in our hands. Let's see. You guys, I think we have a dupe on our hands. This definitely gave the volume, the separation, the length. I feel like I feel like it even gave the same amount of clump. I will say I think the Koki formula is a little bit wetter, but it's also a newer mascara compared to how long I've had this one. But I feel like the brushes are so similar that it really did give the same effect. I mean, look at my lashes. Does it not look the same? I mean, truly. I even got the same amount of mascara on my eyelids. So I think this is a dupe. I think this Koki mascara is really good. It's also very affordable. It's $8 and I have a 25% off coupon. So if you guys want to use that, you can. But guys, we have a dupe. We have a dupe. All right, so we have two more products. Um, let's talk about lips. You guys know my love for the Maybelline Liquid Vinyl. And this is just like literally my ride or die liquid lipstick formula. It's like a shiny finish, but it lasts all freaking day. And when this came out, I was like, this is literally the same thing. This is the Urban Decay Lip Bond. And what's interesting is usually Usually the more expensive one comes out first and then the dupe comes out, but this is like a dupe for the cheaper version. Um, I believe they're owned by the same company, so it makes sense, but you literally have to shake them both. They both have very similar packaging and they both wear the exact same, but one is $11 and the other one is $25. So um, these shades might not be exactly the same, but I just wanted to show you guys the longevity. So I have the shade Peachy in the Maybelline one, which is my favorite. And then I have the shade Texum in the Urban Decay ones. Alrighty guys, look how beautiful this lip liner is. This is the Glam Light Frosted Flakes lip liner and I love it. So I will say I've already tried these products and they're definitely dupes. So let me go ahead and put Peachy Maybelline on this side. And what I like to do is actually apply it and then I like to dab it. And I feel like by dabbing it, you kind of put it over the lip liner. I don't know why, this is just my favorite way to apply it. It's the same result. And obviously there's different shades in both. So now we'll do the Urban Decay and I'll dab with a different finger. It's the same thing. 
it's a great product like this is a great product and if, if this had come out before the Maybelline one I would be all over it but it's so good and so is the Maybelline one and it's a fraction of the price and they both have the same formula I truly believe it's the same formula so this is definitely a dupe the last product that I wanted to test out in a weird way is actually a lip liner so my favorite lip liner as of right now is actually high-end and it's so expensive and it's the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat. Um, the reason why I didn't apply it on my lips is because I don't have the same shade in a drugstore version, but ever since I tried a drugstore lip liner, I felt like what I liked about it was the same as the Charlotte Tilbury. This is just so long wearing. Like when you put this on, it doesn't come off. So I actually love wearing these two together. But I did recently try out a drugstore lip liner that has never wowed me as much as this one. And I kind of wanted to see if they were similar. So this is the NYX Line Loud Lip Liner. Now the Charlotte Tilbury I have in the shade Love Trap and this one I have in the shade Global Citizen. This is the NYX and this is Charlotte Tilbury. I have let it dry and I kind of wanted to do a smudge proof with you guys just to see if I was correct about this. So let's go ahead and rub. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? The Charlotte Tilbury one is fading a little bit and the NYX one is not. You guys, what? Like, is the NYX one even more long wearing? I mean, look, this Charlotte Tilbury one, I mean, that's really good, but this, this is insane. Like, if you're looking for the longevity of the Charlotte Tilbury, get yourself the NYX Line Loud lip liner. Like. This is insane. I was right. I was right about my hypothesis. Like, what? So yeah, this is definitely a formula dupe, and I think when it comes down to longevity, the NYX one is definitely more long-wearing. What? Alrighty, guys, so this is the face. I really, truly feel like you can't even tell a difference. Um, so far, everything's looking good. I'm like very, very shocked about the foundation as well. So we are going to do a little bit of a wear test. It's noon right now. I can come back to you guys later at night, but I have to say so far, so freaking good. I feel like this video is very successful. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Of course, I will link everything down below and I will see you guys in a couple hours just to do like a final, final comparison. Guys, so it is currently 9 p.m. I'm in my kitchen. I figured it would be probably better lighting than my bathroom this is the makeup and i am i think the most shocked about the foundation this is charlotte tilbury beautiful flawless this is the um what was it called the glamouflage and it looks so freaking similar that i would definitely think it's a dupe here are the lip products a little bit hey guys i have no idea why my video cut off i'm about to upload this video and i was editing it um sorry about that i was just gonna say that the lip products actually wore the same so every thought that i had about what was a dupe and what wasn't throughout the video i still stand by after the wear test so anyways i hope that you guys enjoyed the video and you found it helpful let me know what your favorite dupes are down in the comments and yeah thank you guys so much for watching i love you guys so much and i'll see you guys next time bye